All right, so it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, and while this year will be different with the pandemic, the spirit of Christmas is just as palpable in a Utah County home. A handful of volunteers are coming together to make sure at-risk youth aren't forgotten. New specialist Garna Mejia brings us the story. So I figured we have 150 done. Like many homes this time of year, Holly Baxter's living room is bursting with candy, toys, and stockings. Each stocking has about 10 items. But while the rest of us fill stockings for loved ones, these gifts are for complete strangers. They really need the love. Holly spends a month leading up to Christmas collecting basic supplies for at-risk and troubled youth. There's people right here in Utah that don't even get a Christmas present it breaks my heart and the the stories I'm gonna cry probably the stories that I've heard are just so sad and this year is especially hard women's conference usually uh, donates about 500 stockings and since there was no gatherings, they didn't um, get that help so Holly rolled up her sleeves and quadrupled her goal I never once thought twice about reaching that goal. I just knew that if I can do 200, I can do 1,000. But she isn't alone. There's a small army of volunteers like Michelle Cannon rallying around her. She'll come here, pick up stuff. It's a worthwhile effort to make sure each stocking is filled with love. <laughs> Obviously, there's a place in my heart for this. And I, I just love it. <laughs> and Holly tells us they've got just a little ways to go before they meet their goal. Any leftover donations, whether they be monetary or supplies, will go towards next year. In Utah County, Garna Mejia, KSL 5 News.